Welcome to the channel. I appreciate everyone that clicked on this video, donated to the channel, and have supported me so far on this journey. Today, I wanted to get a few things off my chest. I know a lot of you guys might be feeling the same or a similar way. So I'm gonna just get right into it, man. I have a daughter and I don't want any more kids in America. Well, the United States to be exact. And it's for reasons you might not be thinking. At my age, I, I don't mind having a bunch of children, bro. But what are those children's futures going to look like? See, on my channel, I make videos discussing the self-serving, narcissistic, sociopathic behavior of women with the Jezebel mindset. And it seems like 95% of Western modern women are counterproductive or outright destructive to the future of any man who wants a family in this country. When you've spent 38 years seeing women get progressively worse, divorce husbands at a rate of 70 to 90 percent, and leave the men that they had children with like he was nothing more than a phase, as a man, at what point do you feel hopeful? See, man, I'm raising a daughter that doesn't get to ride bikes with the neighborhood kids because those kids are too attached to their phones. There's no father in those homes as well. I don't need my daughter learning how to twerk, reciting lyrics of sexy red, and coming home smelling like weed at the age of 13. And fam, man, it's so bad, man. My daughter tried to have a sleepover a couple years ago at a hotel birthday party. You know, something we used to do as kids. And she had to lock herself in the bathroom because some 15 year old girl was trying to get them all to partake in lesbian activity. And of course, she tried to target my daughter because my daughter is more innocent than the average girl her age. See, this is the type of shit that makes you feel like a failure as a father when you see your kid growing up in their bedroom and bored because America lacks safe third places for kids to congregate. See, our grandfathers had better women than our fathers had. And our fathers had better women than we have. Seeing how bad millennial and Gen Z women are, that makes me fear having a son because if the trend continues, which it will, he has a better chance at becoming a billionaire than marrying a proper woman. And seeing how women's individualistic mindset has ran rampant raising homes since the 70s, I can only imagine the mindset of the boys my daughter has to choose from. I feel like I would have to owe my son an apology. I feel like I owe my daughter an apology. It's my fault she's here. I didn't know 13 years ago the culture would be this bad. She was born before the Obama era. You know, she was born before social media took over mainstream media. I thought there was a future, and I'm not going to lie, bro, man. I'm grateful to be a father, as many of you might not be. And we talk about like, what's the answer? Is it is it MGTOW? Is it red pill? Let's get our passports. You know, it's not that easy. It takes more than a passport and a remote job to successfully live overseas, especially if you have children who needs to finish their education. In my case, getting women isn't the problem. It's the quality of women and how much they destroy and set you back if you invest in that relationship. And bro, it's got to the point to where I don't want a house, I don't want a nice car, I haven't bought much outside of groceries, bro. You know, I plan on selling most of everything I've owned and I've totally divested in the idea of the United States. And if you guys have been with me from day one, then you know that I've done the self-improvement. You know, it, I can tell you it does nothing for your mental health. I still wake up an inch above depression and I make these videos because I know a lot of you may feel similar to me and it's good to discuss and even laugh at our own struggles. But the fact still remains, young men are turning their backs on society and record numbers, it's not a lie. No politician is concerned about young men's suicide rates, the loneliness epidemic, the fact that men are earning less than women age 18 to 30. They would be quick to send those same young men to die in a war for the very country who treats them as second class citizens. And the gyms, bro, don't get me started on the gyms. They have become the number one way to get humiliated online by a TikTok addicted woman. All in all, men are tired of being shamed for checking out women in the gym or at work. 
According to statistics from the 1960s, the workplace used to be one of the top places to meet a significant other. Men's biological imperative to procreate is the reason we check out women who possess attractive features, but in this country, that's synonymous with being a predator. This same country doesn't shame women for their predatory behavior against men like having babies with rich men to sue them in family and divorce court or taking advantage of lonely men by advertising their OnlyFans. Men can't simply enjoy video games without the red pill community saying that they're lame for doing it without ESG making all the female characters look manly, flat, or rocking the agenda, if you know what I'm talking about. And good luck thinking movies, comedians, or sports won't be affected by this bullshit. No wonder men are saying no to marriage, no to relationships, no to kids, no to the workforce. Our black communities have sat back and watched the government give handouts to the illegal immigrants while telling us for the last 60 years to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps. I'm just tired of it, bro. We was raised to believe America is the best place in the world and we're lucky to be here, but do we really feel like it? Do we really feel lucky? Like men are literally going to second and third world countries just so they can have a community, just so they can have a family, just so they can date properly and feel hopeful for their futures. And I know I'm complaining a lot, but don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for the freedoms and human rights. I'm grateful for the economic viability and the upsides of capitalism. As a black man, I'm grateful to have the United States as my homeland. But with that power, I believe my legacy is best served in a different country. I want my children to have community. I want my children to have a healthy culture. I don't want my daughter to grow up and find out how much money she can make by becoming the same type of Jezebel her father criticizes online. If Red Pill is dying, quote unquote dying, it's because it made us aware that we don't really have a solution. If you came to this video looking for answers, all I can say is don't get in any more debt. Pay off any debt that you have if it's possible. Stay living with your parents if that's possible. Don't be an idiot simp and pay some online chick to help you jack off. Don't give her your expendable cash and help her keep you trapped. You know, save the majority of your money. Learn a skill that you can use to make money online. Buy the most expensive MacBook Pro you can afford, then get your passport and... I've gained a lot of knowledge while dating over the years. I can tell you, if you're a young man, those girls your age, just wait, bro. You'll see what they turn into and you'll be happy she chose some other guy. If you're an older man, please share this video with the young men in your family as I feel a lot of them might be confused on their purpose and what's expected of them in our society. And if you are a young man in a new relationship and you happen to be excited about it, all I can say to you, young brother, is be sure to ask yourself these questions. Would you still be with her if she didn't have those three magic holes? Any woman that can't outvalue their body is a woman you shouldn't invest in. That's her job to figure that out, not yours to make her aware that she's not worth it. Keep your money invested in yourself and your little head under control. Don't let the little head help you F around and find out why so many men are saying the things that we're saying. Man, I appreciate anyone that watched this video to the end. Please give some time to leave a like and subscribe. Man, let me know if y'all enjoy these type of videos in the comments and be sure to follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description below. You know, going through the fire is a tough stage, fellas. Never drop your shield or your sword. Get right with the Lord. Pick up the passport and let's all get on board. What do you say to young men who come to you for advice? I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. You're only going to be cared about based on how useful you are. You have the chance to build yourself up and become a superhero if you're prepared to do the hard work and be indefatigable enough to never quit.